hope you had a great mini semester. I sure felt like it was a long one. But I decided to do my research on the role of women in Shakespeare and Elizabethan England. And the reason I did this because when we were studying Hamlet, I noticed Ophelia in particular was being dictated by the men in her life. And that, that just intrigued me. So I started to research women in society during the time Shakespeare wrote his plays. And I uncovered that there was really three main requirements for women in that time and that was chastity, obedience, and silence. And these social constructs you can see all throughout Shakespeare's plays and it was really these factors that controlled and limited the women in those plays. So I'll go into more background of Elizabethan England. So society in Elizabethan England at that time uh, didn't really have a position for women. They, but they weren't allowed to get an education and they were really limited to their households. So they were left only to be housewives who did normal housewives thing, clean, cook, raise children. And it was the men in their lives and in their families that really um, controlled what they did with their everyday lives. And you can see it was, here you can see again, like these three requirements came up again uh, with the chastity and the obedience and silence. And it was there in that society, you can see the perfect woman would be one that was silent in the presence of a man and obedient to her father and husband and overall modest in her everyday activities. And it, there was a saying that said that a woman who was open with her mouth was more likely to be open with her body and when I read that I I was just I just thought I, I can't imagine anything like that being said in this day and age because it would just cause an uproar because that we don't have that same ideas anymore um but anyways back to Shakespeare um, one exa an example of this being shown is again in Hamlet with Ophelia and the scene that comes to mind is when she is talking to her brother Laertes and her father Polonius about Hamlet. And um, it can be seen that both Laertes and Polonius don't, don't want Hamlet in her life. And they're telling her to stay away from him and he doesn't have pure intentions. And it is here that you can see that both of these characters are just trying to exert dominance over her and like dictate what she says and they're really it's just an overall bid of to exercise power and you can see that both of these characters also think that she's naive and she can't make decisions for herself and poor Ophelia is left just silent to she has to be silent to what she wants and blindly obedient to her father and her brother uh, which are both men in her life and she just has to be modest with all the intention she has and it's again you can see that these constructs are present and um aside from hamlet i also decided to look at the plays much ado about nothing and othello and you can see that all three plays really have the same ideas about women and how they and the, just the limitations that they are put under um, that also play into that time period. Um, and ultimately, Elizabethan England had ideologies that aimed to limit the voices and the expression of women. Um, and my conclusion was that now women are probably stronger than ever and that they have a lot of say in society and as I'm researching I just I just realize how much how far women have come and how how great it is to just be alive in this uh, time period compared to what it was back then um, but I hope you all <laughs> enjoyed and I hope you all enjoyed researching your different topics um, also, thank you for watching, and I hope all your schooling goes great. Uh, so, yeah, take care.